Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and this is part four of the Framework Development Series and part fourteen of the entire playlist. So I have not been making videos for a, a bit because I was a little busy, uh, but then I thought I will find some time to complete this particular series. Um, so yeah, without wasting a lot of time, let's get into today's topic. And uh, in last videos, we have configured ESLint, which is really good if you want to. Uh, find out a lot of simple defects, uh, you know, with just doing a scat static analysis. But then Prettier comes with a really good use case where uh, different people use different formatting styles. But then when you work as a team, everyone wants to use the same uh, formatting approaches. So Prettier going to do the job. But the important thing is um, if you want to use ESLint and Prettier separately in two different projects, that's fine. But when you combine them, ESLint also have some formatting configurations in it. So, uh, so when you try to use ESLint and Prettier in the same project, it is very important to use this ESLint config Prettier. What it does is it disables the formatting options that comes from ESLint and completely lets you to use Prettier. So we're going to dive deep into this. Don't worry about it. Um, but then this is going to be our, uh, our video. So let's get into the uh, Protier website. And uh, so you can see the reasoning here. Uh, Protier is an opinionated code formatter. Like basically it supports all these uh, languages uh, here. And this is the main important thing, right? To say you have something like this and after formatting, it becomes like this. You can, you can go through all these things, but then the main important thing that I want to cover is um, what is Protier, what is Linter. For example, we use ESLint that helps you to find, let's say you declare a variable, but you didn't use it, right? So that's a problem that you could simply avoid. These kind of things can be easily find by your linter. That's why we use ESLint. And prettiers are very, very simple. They they just care about your formatting. Let's say you use double quote or you, you end all your statements with a semicolon at the end. So all these things are basically handled by your uh, prettiers. In our cases, we are going to use integrating with linters because we're going to use um, uh, Prettier and ESLint together. So in order to do that, there is this particular ESLint config Prettier. And so we could directly go ahead and, and basically install this. And so let's install this ESLint config Prettier. Once that is done, it can also tell you, right? So um, you have to go and add it into your ESLint configuration. Uh, so the Prettier, uh, let's go ahead and go to our ESLint uh, thing and add the Prettier here. That's it. So once that is done, if, uh, you could use this particular plugin. Um, that's all. We don't need to do any of these things and it should work. But apart from that, we added this plugin, but importantly, um, we need to add the, the Prettier itself, right? So so let's add this prettier package um, and it's done. And it, it, it also, we need to uh, create a empty config file. So basically you have to create dot prettier uh, or C file, which basically lets your editor, uh, that is if you're using VS code or IntelliJ, it let, it let the editor and the other tools that you are using, that you are going to use prettier for your formatting and don't apply default rules formatting rules in this particular project. So let's go ahead and create it. You can also create it manually, but then I created it using this. So we can see this, it's an empty config. You could add more configurations here, but by default, it'll use all the default configurations, right? And then they are asking us to create a prettier ignore file. Um, so which we can go ahead and add it. So if you don't want to format a particular file, you could do prettier ignore file. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's all about it. You could basically add, let's say, uh, node modules here, node underscore module, something like this, like whatever you don't want to format. Um, let's say you don't want to format that idea. So all these things you could put there. Um, but then, so this is all here. You can add add whatever you want. And uh, coming back to this prettier configuration. So there are different op options available. So for example, let's say, let's take a simple example of tab width, 
So by default, your tab width is going to be two. So whenever you are going to use in your project, it's going to use two. If you want to override that, you can copy this particular API override syntax and then say, let's say I want to use four, right? By default, it's two. You can also say two. And uh, let's say you want to do semicolons um, and then you have to copy the semi and uh, by default, it's basically false and you can override that. So by default, it's true. And add a semicolon at the end, so no, you can add it. Again, these are all already basic stuff, right? If you want to add single quotes, if you want to use single quotes for your strings, then you can use true. And by default, the single quote is false. So basically, you don't have to put these two, but just for demonstration, I'm putting it. So basically, you can go through all these things, trailing commas and everything, and based upon your needs, for example, for example, this bracket line here, uh, if you are using front-end development, where you want this closing bracket to be, right? You want here or here. So if you put true, this is your, going to be your formatting style. So, so you can choose based upon your needs. Uh, but then in most cases, you don't have to do any of these. Um, by default, all these default rules will be what you need, right? So you can either put these three things or you can even remove this. It's all same, right? Um, and then uh, that's all about it. Then let's go here and uh, what they are telling. Say, if you want to format your files, you can do this command, right? Let's go ahead and run this command. And it tells us what files it formatted. And you can also take a look. If you don't need some of the files to be formatted, for example, you don't want to format the prettier of the file itself, right? You can add that to the prettier ignore file. And you don't want to uh, format this package or whatever. Right, you can, can put it there. But apart from that, all these files are formatted. Let's say I I do uh, invalid formatting here, something like this, and try to run it. Yeah, it's formatting correctly. All things are working fine. And uh, you you can let's say this is this will automatically fix it. Let's say you want to only highlight the error if there is a problem. Uh, so you can do this. You can run this command. It will check. Okay, this file is missing a formatting, right? And then if you want to automatically fix it, you can use this particular command and then it fix it for you. So this is how you could use ESLint and Prettier together. Again, to highlight, you can just use Prettier in your project, but the problem is we are already using ESLint uh, for our uh, catching uh, some static uh, bugs. So ESLint also supports some formatting. So let's say when you use these two things together, um, the problem is ESLint will say this is four width, okay? and Prettier will say this is two width. So people will be confused. So in order to avoid that, we are we have installed this um, ESLint config Prettier this particular package, um, uh, so that ESLint understand okay my job is not to do formatting. Prettier will take care of it, and then we use Prettier we install the Prettier itself, and then we we use the to format it again we could add all these commands into the uh, package.json as a script we will do that at the later point of time we'll go step by step but for this video this is all about prettier and uh, see you guys in another great video Bye -bye.